Welcome back to Brandon Sushi Live. Today I will be showing you how to create kind of like a dancing creatures. Um, it's really simple to make and you can do this in just a few minutes. Um, this was actually inspired by dancing stick bug and you can watch this yourself but basically it's quite amazing how simple creatures like this can kind of entertain you just doing dancing you know like uh, on TikTok or or Instagram stories or reels whatever so yeah so let's get started oh I delete everything we just need a default cube actually we hit tab and go to edit mode and then right click we want to merge the vertices at the center so we start like this and we want to go to the side view or the front view which one side view and we want to just draw our stick bug so stick bug I don't know I think the tails is actually higher than the head but we don't uh, we don't need to worry too much about that we just need to draw the leg for example we draw this using just polygon and we basically draw the torso now we want to draw the legs okay go to the front view just extrude 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 so we have the legs we do the same thing extrude there one two three four how many legs do we want two uh, I mean two arms and legs can be kind of complex but I, I will make three legs actually yeah uh, I'll try to make this one longer actually with stick stick bug you can make the legs really long and the longer the leg is actually kind of more interesting just make it like that so let's save this very quickly maybe not very feasible at the moment file save as dancing dancing stick bug so from here let's put this stick bug on the on the ground Control A, apply location, apply all transform. And after we do this, we can skin modifier. Okay. We get this. Uh, go to edit mode, select all, Control A, and scale. So this is our stick bug. Okay, this, if we go to wireframe mode by tapping Z. Before skin modifier, we can actually do mirror. So we should mirror before the skin modifier, and we want to mirror it in the in the y axis. So we have our stick bug. I have a feeling it's not facing the the right way. Okay, yeah. So I'm using Susan head, and we can see that the bugs is not mirroring properly. So I will. Control A here, applying the modifier, and then R Z rotate. Okay, this is better. Control A again, apply all transform. Cool, we have our stick bug. We can model, we can sculpt this to look a little bit better. But actually, what's interesting is the animations, right? So we need to have bone. We need to have bone. So we need. From skin modifier, we have a uh, create armature. Okay, with create armature, we actually have the bone ready for us for animating. Let's check the bone really quickly. We have this root bone, which will carry everything, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's a bit long at the moment, but we can scale this. Actually, this this bone doesn't matter. It's, it's our controller, basically. So we have this, but you know the leg is not moving. Um, it's not planted on the ground. So we need to have like a IK constraint, things like that. And also, if we move this around, the tail and the head is not moving. I know that there's a quick way to do this. Uh, we learned this in the previous video. I'm using. I like to use spring bones. 
So Spring Bones is an add-on that you install. And if you have Spring Bones and you simply activate the spring and the rotations, if you start interactive mode, you have animations. Okay, so this is for the head and the tail. This is just for a really quick animations. As for the leg itself, the quickest way is of course just to plant the legs, plant the feet on the floor using IK. So selecting the feet, shift I and just select to new empty object. So this is this will add an IK constraint to the leg. But by default this IK constraint is actually doing it for the whole armature so you just actually just need to have two two or three chain length so I think I did this wrong actually I select the feet I should have select the this bone instead this bone now let me let me quickly think yeah you can have let's try just selecting this bone and then shift I to new empty object so it's creating IK constraint for this leg and we only need this for two chain length between this and this bone and this bone so by doing that we have a constraint for that fit we might need to do something with that other feet but for now we don't need to worry just select select the second feet and then shift i you can see that it says two active objects it's actually looking at the the first empty we need to go out deselect everything and then go to post mode again shift i to new empty objects okay so you you get the drill Go to object mode, deselect everything, select the bone armature again, post mode, select this, shift I, there. So this empty is actually, this empty is controlling our stick bug legs. So we are, we are manually doing this. Uh, let's do the same thing select this control tab go to post mode so there's a lot of hot keys I forgot to make the chain length for this guy okay okay Let's do one more. Deselect everything in the object mode. Select this armature. Go to post mode. Select our bone. Shift I to new empty object. Okay. So we have six different empty. You, you can name this properly. And you can change the locator size. Select all of them. And then option click. Now we have smaller and a little bit nicer controller for our stick bug I think this guy needs the IK to be 2 chain length okay now we can start animating our creatures let's give it like 400 frames you can animate it from any directions, I think. Turn on record, start animating. And if you play some music, you can animate this way. Just move your mouse cursor. So ideally, you can do this in 3D. You can actually use a couple of methods, um, like using your iPhone, but for now, just use your mouse, okay. We have our creatures moving around. Make this. I will delete the rest of the animations here. So we have like a some frame so it settles. 
so we have animations right so this is quite okay quite believable even though it's really simple and we create it just under a few minutes um, remember with with our spring bones oh did I delete the spring bones no we still have we just need to start animation mode and animate <clears throat> so this is basically what I want to show you and now the only things you need to do is perhaps do a little bit more sculpting with your creatures or um, you can also let's see let me think this one is skinned and we have armature with our skin I believe with our skin modifier we can still adjust we can still adjust this control a scale this so this is still adjustable and also for our creature we can make fit smaller I'm just using control a and then move move the mouse So yeah, the the baking part and also if you if you're not satisfied with this, um, let's see. I want to have these creatures. So we have the creatures dancing. Maybe we are not satisfied with this how the creatures look. Save this, save as. First of all, go back to post mode. Turn off this uh, interactive deform. So we have it. We have these creatures in the, the default pose. Maybe we want to do some sculpting. You can definitely do that. But we just basically need to apply the skinning. We actually can get rid of the armature as well. Get rid of the animation armature. And we can go to sculpt mode and we can start sculpting. Maybe turn on symmetry. Turn on dynamic topology. Okay, and we can start sculpting. Our creature is currently very low resolutions. You might want to subdivide it one time. Okay, I just subdivide it. And then sculpt mode. We can start by... You can inflate. You can inflate some areas or deflate. Whatever you like. Just to make this creature more interesting and yeah maybe it's like a some kind of kaiju monsters or just a small tiny creatures you can you can add things like using grab maybe just if you enable dynamic topology Protect data detected blah 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 okay just hit okay maybe we can make this smaller so we, we will have more subdivision as we sculpt uh, okay oh maybe use snake hook okay snake hook make we have a lot of control with the snake hook. You see, suddenly we have more details on the areas that we push and pull. So this makes our creatures more menacing all of a sudden. Stick bug is actually really interesting. Have you ever seen one? Um, I think Australia have Australian Zoo you usually have stick bug. If you can find this in the nature, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Such a small creatures. Okay, now the creature is losing the animations, but remember how we built the armature before? You, you can just select your mesh, select this, control P with automatic weight, and we have our creature dancing again. Of course, it's losing the additional springy we need to enable the spring bones so we have our anim animations you can actually render this out 
per, uh, of course you can do like texturing uh, maybe adding some eyes here and there just making this to look a little bit nicer for now I think I'm just gonna show you how to bake this select our bones and F3 bake action turn on visual king turn on pose and object I think that's pretty much it clear constraint clear parents okay hopefully this will do the job there we go it's pretty easy <laughs> pretty simple right you just okay for now I'm just gonna do like a base color we can add a should we add eyes okay maybe we should I was not gonna do the whole thing go to texture painting enable texturing give it a diffuse just base color what's the color of our stick bug green start painting maybe just paint some eyes oh, okay doesn't like okay doesn't have a UV select everything smart UV you know and it just quickly now we have UV so we can paint on these creatures our mirroring doesn't work properly so just turn that off just draw eyeballs three eyeballs okay just two Maybe make a mouth, tiny little mouth. Okay. Uh, okay. We have our bugs dancing, and it settles. And then you can put some music send this to TikTok or something uh, but for now I'm just gonna export it to GLB and then open up reality converter app this will turn your animations into AR okay so you can send this to your friend it will work on the iPhone and the iPad however um, yeah, so that's how you make a quick dancing stick bug that you can upload to TikTok and this can entertain yourself and your friends hopefully. Um, Alright, so hopefully you find this useful. Thanks, uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.